All right, today I'm going to overview some joystick remappers and how I get my modern Simagic equipment to work with the old Papyrus games, which could work for other games. I use them for NASCAR Racing 3, NASCAR Legends, NASCAR 99, because those titles specifically only allow you to have four axes and two joysticks. Uh, so there's no clutch pedal in those games, but with a clutch pedal and steering wheel, you can't have a shifter or, you know, other buttons. So I have found that there's a combination of programs to kind of overwrite this. And the three programs that I use in conjunction with each other are HID Hide, VJoy, and joystick gremlin. Now the first one is VJoy configuration, which once you have this set up, you should never have to touch it again, so I'm told. So when you download this, it gives you four options of items. You get the configuration application, you get a monitoring application, there's a device listing application, there's a demo application. The demo is the only one I didn't download. I have the other three VJoy devices. In here you can set up, looks like 16 different devices. I only need one, and I only need it to do a specific task. So I have X, Y, and Z axes. I just threw in a fourth one. I don't think it matters which one you click. I just chose slider just because I thought that made sense for the steering wheel. Um, 20 buttons, I don't think I even need that many, but that's what I have set in here. Continuous POVs, I just put the four. I did enable force feedback, but my understanding is that VJoy does not have force feedback effects, so it probably doesn't even matter. I just have it on. Once you do this, you can apply, and you can shut this, and you pretty much never have to worry about VJoy again. So next up we have HID Hide, which is this simple program, but it is a little confusing. I still don't fully understand it, but it just works if you set it up this way. So this is an applications tab and you also have a devices tab, which I'll go through in a second. So you wanna click here and find the programs that you want to see all your joysticks. So anything you put in here is going to see all your joysticks. You can run it on an inverse, which I have seen people do, and I actually got it running that way as well. But this way works so much better that I found I had issues with it hanging up, and this is the only way I've got it to reliably work. Um, so you want to put HID hide itself in here because you want it to see all your joysticks all the time. The other program that we're going to talk about in a second, Joystick Gremlin, you want to download that. You want to put that in here too. I have Joy to Key, which I probably don't even need now that I have Joystick Gremlin. It's just a way for my shifter to do keyboard strokes um, before I knew about Joystick Gremlin. So you want to put those devices or those applications in this list and we can go over to devices tab took a minute or two but we're here so these are the devices um i actually don't have my steering wheel plugged in but what you what this is is it picks up the joystick we just set up in vjoy so that's what this pro this device here is and then all the other ones are your game controllers, your steering wheel, your pedals, your, you have an Xbox controller plugged in and turned on, it'll show up here, your shifter, handbrake, all that stuff. For NASCAR racing and those games, you want to go through and basically turn everything off. You only want your virtual joystick to be seen by the, by the other programs which we, that's what the application tab does. The joystick gremlin will see all your controllers 
input them and basically remap it to this virtual joystick, the game itself will not see your wheel and pedals. So it'll know, hey, there's only one controller plugged in. We can map those controls. After you select your controllers here, you want to close this. I'm not going to do this right now, but you want to close this application and you want to physically disconnect everything that you just checked here. So your shifter, your handbrake, your pedals, your button box, your steering wheel, everything that you just checked here, close this program and unplug and replug them back in. And that will, that is where I was getting hung up on this program. And it was so frustrating because I couldn't get it to work. That's all you have to do. Um, you want to make sure these three boxes here are also checked um, to enable device hiding, all this stuff. Once you do that, you can close it. You should be good. You can, if you want, reopen it and double check on it. You don't have to, though. Now I'll open Joystick Gremlin. Okay, now we're in Joystick Gremlin. I just had real run around with HID Hide. It's uh, it's it's not a great program, but it does work. I find it goes into not responding mode a lot, which I've probably already said. Um, you just have to restart the computer and start from scratch if it's if it's just not responding. Just restart, start fresh. So I got Joystick Gremlin open. So in here, you'll have all your devices that we just we just put in hid hide. We put in Joystick Gremlin. You have to add this program in there or you are not gonna see any of this because it's blocking them. But you should have all your devices up here. Okay, we have our shifter so we can program buttons. We have our wheel, we can put the steering in and we can put in our pedals. To do that, the best way, go up here to the tools on the top, go to input viewer. It's going to give you this box of stuff. And now you want to add your access for your wheel. You want to add your accesses for your pedal. And you want to see the VJoy device axis. And then if you want buttons, you can go and click on the buttons and see the buttons. So we're going to add those. I've already got this set up, so I don't have to go through this. But for instance, if I am pushing my throttle pedal, you can see that the SimMagic axis, the throttle is being input. This is because I've already mapped it. So when you come in here, we can, we can map the clutch pedal. It's not going to do anything for me, but click on, or well, you don't even have to click on it. You can just, you know, I'm pushing my throttle right now. I can just push the clutch, clutch pedal and it's going to highlight what button that is or what axis or whatever. So we can click on or just push the button, go up here to remap and you can add a map to it. Now I have in VJoy, we had set up, I had four axes. So I can map it to my slider. If I don't want it on my slider, I can map it to any of these other four axes. I've already got mine all set up, but for instance, if I want to put it on Z axis, I could put it on Z, I could put it on X, I could put it on Y. I could bind it to anything that's available. We're going to remove that because I don't need it. But anyway, so my brake pedal is on my Y axis, my throttle pedal on the z-axis if i come over here to my wheelbase my steering wheels on the x-axis and you can see all of this is bound in here now my some magic clutches uh is in here but not that it matters it's not mapped to anything but you'll notice that our vjoy device well it's not working well that's because we have to click up here back in the default gremlin page we have to click this controller which will enable the VJoy device. Now, if I turn my steering wheel, Gremlin sees, hey, I'm turning my ste steering wheel and the VJoy device is going to turn the steering wheel. Same with the clutch or the brake, the accelerator. If you have buttons set up, you know, you can 
you can do all the button stuff. Um, I don't have any hats, and I don't even know why I put those in, but they're there. So after you do that, you can file save your profile, and this will load on default every time you come in here. Um, you don't have to... Once you map, once you set everything, you don't have to run input viewer every time. But it is kind of nice to see before you get into a game that everything's working. So now we can load up, you know, any game. You know, NASCAR, whatever you want. You can, you could even do this for your primary controller if you wanted to. I don't think there's that much of a benefit on the newer games where they allow multiple controllers, but if you have a limit on the number of controllers that you can set, this program seems, or this combination of programs seems to work okay. Um, once we're done, you're you're just going to leave this running. When you play the game, you're going to want to, well, you're going to have to open, hit, hide, and you're going to have to, you know, turn your devices on and off. You can close that program. You're going to want to leave Joystick Gremlin open. You know, you don't need this, but you do need the controller enabled to have the joystick, the V-Joy devices. And you can see here at the bottom, you can see when it's active. I turn this off. You can see it's not running. So you're going to want that running. You can just leave this. You can minimize this. You can go, then you can go open your game. But you, this is the program you want running. And then when you're done, you come back in here turn it off, you can close it. Now you're going to want to go back into hid hide when you're done playing your game. And you're going to want to turn all these back on. I actually I don't think you have to do this, but I I generally shut off the joystick just in case um so it doesn't get picked up by another program. And that's it. That you're done. You don't have to um all you gotta do is come back in here, hit hide. You don't have to run VJoy ever again. Actually, I think I broke mine just doing this tutorial because I had hid VJoy, um, VJoy device in hit hide, and I tried to open it. Anyway, I think that's what gave me the problem. But yeah, you want VJoy, you want hit hide, and you want joystick gremlin, and just as a heads up. If you do hit hide and you do exit your game and close hit hide or you, you know you open it re-enable all devices whatnot it seems to work only one time so if you want to pull if you close down nascar 2003 and you get back out of hit hide um you're gonna want to restart your computer before you go back into 2003 just I've found that hit hide just goes not responding and if it goes into that not responding phase you just you just want to restart the programs just it just doesn't seem like it can handle it I don't know of an alternative but it that's that so that's how to do all that um you could probably use this on other games too I just use it for the NASCAR racing series so far maybe I'll encounter a game where I need it elsewhere but it seems to work so Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.